Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Pat. I am a librarian in the Santa Clara County Library District. I'm so happy to be with you for this summer reading STEAM program in along the lines of the theme, Reading Colors Your World. And we're going to make a spectroscope today because a spectroscope is something that you look through and you look at regular white light and you see how it is bent into different bands of color inside the spectroscope. So we're going to be making that today. Let me just show you a couple of things before I get going here, before we get going here. Okay. So, so this is how to make a spectroscope and our website is sccld.org and this video will be a, you'll be able to access this after we do this and so you can copy down some websites from our video such as let me see why is this I'm just trying to get it to advance okay so one thing I'm just going to show you right now for future reference is I'm going to what I'm going to show you first how to make the spectroscope out of a kit that a lot of you might have because there are some summer reading kits that are being given out at different libraries in our system and in those kits, there's a colors of light kit that show, that has all the instructions and the materials you will need for making the spectroscope. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you how to use your kit. But the second thing, in case you didn't get that kit, is I'm going to show you how to make a paper towel spectroscope. And I used this video that the link is shown right here and you can use the link it's about five minutes if you need to make it from materials at home and that's a really good thing to use what else do i have on here and the other thing is for your homemade one if you don't have the kit from the library you're going to need to get some diffraction grading and here's a site where you can order it from diffraction grading is this is not it, but it looks like it. <laughs> it's going to be, you'll be ordering sheets of diffraction. They're called diffraction sheets and you would cut a piece for your homemade one. But we'll get back to that later. Let me stop the share. And so first I'm going to, I'm going to go to what we need for the first kit one, you need, if you have the kit, you're going to have a tube that's like a paper towel tube, it's, but it's a little bit smaller and it's made of kind of cardboardy stuff, but you don't have to worry about that. It has an instruction booklet and it comes with an adhesive sheet that has a diffraction grating taped inside here. So don't touch this clear thing. That's going to be where you're looking through your spectroscope. You're going to put it on one side and then you're going to put the other adhesive on the other side and look through it. So let us look at how that's done. And if you, if you use your little instruction here, it says to cover one end of the cardboard tube with the adhesive label. So if you want to, you can just take it off and put it on, or you can cut little slits so that it's easier to put it on. I am going to just take it off, trying to be careful not to touch the diffraction grating and put it on the top of the paper towel tube and fold it down. Let 
move it down. It's not quite in the middle, but it will still work. And so that's one side. And then the second thing, it says here there's one method, which is to put the label over the other end and use a push pin to poke holes in it in the shape of a heart or anything. You could just put random uh, holes in it to make a different pattern for the light to come inside. So first, and method two is to take it and cut it so that it's a slit and put that over, put the ends, put each half over one end and making just a little slit. And I'll show you, we'll do that for the homemade one that we're gonna do next. But right now for this one, I'm using method one. I'm gonna take the adhesive and put it like this. Try to get it. like that and take your push pin and because it suggests a heart I'm going to try to make a heart and it doesn't matter if it's a perfect heart it doesn't matter if you just willy-nilly make holes in this so I've made a heart and so what we're going to do is I'm going to look through, let me just do this, Alt, N. I'm going to look through it at a light source. So in my office here or in my, my boss's office, I have a fluorescent light. And I'm just looking at the fluorescent light and it's kind of neat. It has four little hearts around the one in the middle, four little rainbow hearts, and they look so pretty. You can also look at a regular light, which is called an incandescent bulb, and that will be a little bit of a different pattern. So um, you can experiment at home. You can also go <coughs> look at it look at just look at daylight in it outside you can go out and don't look at the sun just make sure you don't look at the sun you can you can to remind yourself of that you can also take a piece of white paper and just make sure that you've got a piece of white paper blocking the sun if you have to you can just look around and see what the light is you just don't want direct sunlight you can use it to look at the moon you can see what patterns you have for that it's just experiment with it. It's really fun. So the so you would look through the little eye hole and use different sources of light. And some of you might have a plastic sheet of like notebook dividers that's that have colors. So like this, I only have a little one here, but you can also experiment with that by looking, holding this up at the other end and seeing what that does to your pattern. Of course, it, it sort of tinges it red, but let's, you go, you experiment later. Now, I'm going to put that aside and we're going to look at how to make a homemade one. So a homemade spectroscope, if you don't have a kit, what you're going to need is a paper towel tube. You can also use a toilet paper tube, but if I have a paper towel tube here, and I think the longer it is, the better you, the better patterns you'll get. I'm not sure about that. You can experiment and see if that's true. You're going to need some aluminum foil. So two squares of aluminum foil, as you can see, they don't have to be perfect. They also look kind of rectangly, mine do. So try to keep them as smooth as you can. I have a little trouble with that. <laughs> and take two other sort of strips of aluminum foil. And what else? We need tape, some tape. You can use masking tape or clear tape. 
and and then of course the diffraction sheet which i don't have the diffraction sheet i've got a pretend diffraction sheet here if you do buy the diffraction sheet you will be you will try as hard as you can not to do what i just did don't put your fingers all over it pretend that it's like a a glossy picture that you only handle on the outside edge so that it remains clear. If you do, so you'll take like a little square of it. I took a piece of tape here. So pretend this is a square of diffraction grating. If you do happen to get fingerprints on it, you can take a cloth or a rag and wipe off your prints. So um, what we're going to do first is take one of these squares of foil and fold it, fold it in half. Of course, fold it in half and then fold it into half again. And then in the part of it that's opposite the corner that's open, you just snip off a little triangle so that when you open it, carefully open it, you have the eye hole. And I'm going to put the piece of diffraction grating, should be a little bit bigger, Make sure your diffraction grating is a little bit bigger than your eye hole. It doesn't have to be much bigger. And tape it down, trying not to tape, leaving some room so that you can still look through it. Um, there. And take the tape side, have that facing down so that, and put it over the end of your paper towel tube. And kind of foil is so good because it just folds so nicely. And then take a longer piece of tape and just tape it, tape the foil down so that it stays. And I'm just going to maybe there. I'll just, so you have that end already. Now you're going to take the other piece of foil and fold it into four, half, fold it in half, and fold it in half again. And do that little cutting thing on the part, the corner that's opposite where it's open. And open it up. And this is going to be, you're going to now take one of your strips and fold this down the middle and try to do like a good crease, tight crease, and then take this one. It doesn't really matter whether, you, which side of the foil you have up or down and make another crease. And what you're gonna do here, this is what I mean by a slit. I mentioned it before. You're going to put this over that little hole and try put these parallel to each other like this and try to make a slit as small as you can, sort of like the size that like a coin, a quarter or a penny or a dime or a nickel would fit through. Do you see how little that slit is? And then I'm going to tape this down, making sure that this stays parallel to make the slit. Um, up here and over here. 
So now I'm going to take that with the tape side in, the tape side down, and try to center it over this end that isn't covered yet. Try to center that slit over the cover and just put it, push, the foil is just really nice and oh, moldable. Try not to get the slit out of whack. Now, um, on the video that I showed you, they don't tape it down until they kind of experiment looking through this hole and they sort of move this around until they make sure that the bands of light are like this. They, they try to make sure that the bands of light are sort of vertical and separated and as thick as they possibly can. When you move the, wait a second, why is, I'm just gonna, oh, I need to stop sharing my screen. Stop share. Okay. There's, that's the bands of light in Y. Trying to, thank you for bearing with me. Some of these technical things. Maybe I'm not share. I don't want to share anymore. Well, yeah, maybe I do. Sorry. <laughs> there it is. Stop share. Okay. So what you're going to do is look through this end, which is taped down and sort of move this around looking at maybe a fluorescent light and playing with it until you get those bands of light that are nice and clear and separated. And then you tape it down, tape this end down. You tape this end down once you've got that. And there you have it. You've got your spectroscope where you look through this end. And again, you'll see really pretty patterns looking at fluorescent lights, incandescent light bulbs, outside, outside, um, light, but just as long as you don't look at the sun. So that is making a spectroscope. And you can experiment with more things. You can, you can try other pieces of foil and put different patterns other than the slit. You can punch with the push pin, but it's really fun. So it's, it's, it's really neat to see how White light is made up of all different colors, all the colors of the rainbow. So enjoy yourselves. Stay tuned next or be sure to tune in for future STEAM programs. There are lots more to come. Miss Pat signing off. Thank you.